can we use the fact that so many people are now connected with the mobile technology to address some of these challenges, okay? So can we use mobile technology to increase political accountability, to improve, for, for example, service delivery? Can we use them to uh, flatten political access to marginalized populations? There's an underlying demand to contact one representative using mobile civil tech platforms. But we've also learned another lesson uh, that, you know, and I think many of you in the room have learned this lesson in the past, uh, if you build them, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will come. And a lot of the research that we're doing in this space is trying to understand why some platforms catch and some platforms uh, don't catch. Another important lesson that we've learned, and this is a very important lesson that we've learned, is ICT uh, platforms. Platforms that allow citizens to contact their representative in, in government have a real potential of flattening access. And what you can see here on the left is the more marginalized you are, the less engaged, okay? So that's, that's the negative trend, okay? These are traditional forms of participation. On the right, what we see is the same marginalization as a function of the share of people that send a text message to the representative in, in, in government, okay? And what we see that this is, this is straight, okay? This is a straight line, meaning more marginalized people are not less likely to send a text message. So if only 20% of the people that get up and speak are women uh, in the community meeting, but 40% of those that send messages are women, then we can say that we added another channel that flattens access. The fact that uh, marginalized populations value this form of connection doesn't necessarily mean that every time we will put in a platform, uh, it will be an equalizer by itself. Even though marginalized populations value this form of communication a lot, by itself it doesn't guarantee their participation and there's a lot of things that we need to think of like the marketing and how personalized the invitation to participate is. So studies show that people are much more likely to contact local governments than national parliament because of what the government actually does. So it's much easier to contact about what a world that is broken, uh, health, you know, the quality of teachers, uh, health clinics that are always closed it's much more difficult for citizens to message, to contact the MPs in Parliament, because in order to do that, you need to know what's on the docket of Parliament, what's the debate, what sides people are taking, and what are they going to vote on, and, and people, people are not good at that. For that, you actually need, need civil society. In some places, we gave the platform uh, tablets, the access to the platform to bureaucrats. In, in some districts, we gave it to councillors, to politicians, okay? And we wanted to see what's happening. And what we found is significantly higher uptake, significantly greater involvement when we gave it to, to the bureaucrats, okay? So when we gave it to the bureaucrats, people anticipate that the bureaucrats will respond. They anticipate that they have the knowledge, the know-how, the technical ability to address some of their problems, and they were sending messages in high rates. Mobile civic tech can create a platform of communication, but by itself it doesn't make a non-responsive government responsive. What we're discovering that it's important to think not only about knowledge and information that is passed, but also about government incentives, okay? There has to be a political economy analysis behind what we're trying to do when we do uh, mobile civil tech. If we think that by creating, a, you know, platforms, you know, we, we, we can somehow eliminate the real world because everything will operate on like the you know, some, some servers, we're wrong, okay? Especially for those study of us working in developing countries. At some point, the virtual world and the real world need to kind of uh, connect and, and that's when we get uh, the best uh, outcomes.